And hello, hello, hello again, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. It's just going to be a short one. Um, I'm just going to really just vent on the uh, air, air, air research or air rework on a new DLC. Uh, so I've just played about four hours literally. Um, didn't do a particularly good job because I'm still trying to understand the focuses in the air combat, but I'm just extremely disappointed in the air rework. So generally what I was hoping from the air rework from a... Uh, the new DLC. Uh, why is it even cold? Uh, but, 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 but. By blood alone. Um, is uh, I was hoping that you could make more specialised aircraft and you'd have different abilities and you you could sacrifice certain aspects of your air to make it stronger in one area and weaker in the other. For example, I could have a very hybridised but very delicate uh, fighter, uh, fighter slash cast bomber that could across really do a lot of cast damage but would be extremely weak and very quickly destroyed by uh, enemy fighters or i could make a very armored uh armored fighter uh bomber or cast uh, like a stermovic that could had a lot of armor a lot of defense and could really just ignore weaker fighters however when looking at the air, re well, air research and the air rework i've noticed a load of problems with the new air research so without further ado I'll show it to you. So I've uh, turned on air, uh, air research on icon click just to demonstrate to you. So primarily you've got this new research tree for aircraft. You can see unlike say the naval one which has all these new mechanics like armor piercing rounds and so on and so forth that give you certain bonuses that means you could really focus on your air or really focus on your navy to make a really strong navy. You've got really basic stuff like you've got stuff like self-sealing tanks that to increase your armor and armor plates but and you've got stuff for guns and stuff for engines, but altogether, nothing particularly interesting that allows you to hybridize your stuff. Most of this stuff you can ignore, maybe get extra machine guns such as this one, but a lot of this just isn't very good. Uh, and of course, extra uh, fuel tanks for longer range. But the big problem I have is the fact that your different fighters, if we take a look at them, do do do. do. Is that they get a base agility for each research tip. Now what this means is that if I have an earlier one, say a ooh, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, let's see, medium interwar airframe, interwar airframe, an interwar airframe, I will have an agility of 45. And of course if I get a improved one, such as a basic or improved small airframe, I get a agility of 65. And then, of course, if I get the next one, I get an agility of 75. Now, do you see the problem here? The problem is agility and speed is what governs air superiority. So if I decide to make a hybridized, say, CAS fighter, I effectively lose the air war because immediately I lower my agility and a, and a fighter only re, uh, plane will beat me and beat my cast. So this means there's no point doing hybridized uh, fighters slash cast bombers. You just end up doing a really strong fighter of max agility or a really strong cast. If you try and do both, you're just gonna lose air superiority and be completely ineffective. Not only that, but because your agility and, and, and is, is sort of locked behind your research. If you have a focus that unlocks this earlier as a, as a nation, you effectively beat everyone else's air. You, you're, you're just better. There's nothing else you can do about it. You can't change or specify or upgrade. Unlike with your tanks, you could potentially become, if you had a more outdated tank model, you could say sacrifice speed for piercing or speed for armor. In this, if you don't have that next research chair, you have effectively lost. You've lost the air war. And so the whole idea of making these hybridized uh, resur uh, resupply cast bombers or um, strategic bombers slash fighters is completely out the window because the way the air combat works, meaning that if you've got more agility and more speed, you have air superiority and you just win. This is bad. Um, and I'd say even a step back from before this DLC where you'd at least have to research into agility or you'd have to research into... Uh, engines just to get extra speed or, or, or weapons to get fighters and you just don't have that here what they should do is have this as well as the basic say tank model of 
being able to upgrade armor engine, something like that. So you sacrifice something. And uh, it's just really not that good, uh, if I'm honest with you, um, because of that reason. The reason, so what you end up doing is making one line of extremely good fighters that the sole purpose is for fighting and hope you've got a larger research slot. If you don't, you've lost the war. Or one uh, really dedicated cast, uh, cast bomber that has only does cast and doesn't do anything else because of the way it works, meaning that if you, if you try and hybridize, you lose the air war. Coupled with all of this sort of stuff, there's no really point using any of it. Um, the only time I've actually had to change my production of my air was when I came across bombers where I had to get, say, medium fighters and then heavy cannons, and that meant I had to change my research production. But as you know, in most multiplayer games, trap bombers are banned, and in most multiplayer games, um, they're, they're, they're limited by scale and so and to prevent that that forced research into, say, medium fighters. And so it's just not a good system right now. The system does not promote adaptation or sacrificing certain elements of your uh, air production. For example, in this case, if I decided to make a cast fighter, there you go, I've lost the air wall, no point using it. So oh, the only thing that's forcing me to do is go spam as many of these as I can get away with. Maybe get this in if, if possible. But I can't even do that because I lose agility so I've lost the air war. And that's it. That is completely the air rework. There you go. There's your fighter. Um, you know, <laughs> there's no, there's no specialization there. Uh, there. There's just a complete lack of research to go into making better fighters. You just spam as many guns as possible to get as air attack as hard as possible. Maybe get your speed up if you can with the best engine, and just keep your agility and your speed high. If you've got both of those high, you win the air war. And so it just means heavy. It it just means who puts more research slots into fighters rather than building a certain fighter uh, with pros and cons. Like I, there's no point building a heavy armor fighter that can just outlast enemy planes because you just lose air superiority. So there's no point me heavy like going over here. Going to my fighters and going, oh, let's research some armor. Uh, let's see, let me show you this. No, literally no point. There you go. Again, which has the best agility? This one does. There you go, this one does. This one does. Who's got the largest speed? This one does. Maybe armor plates, but again, if it's going to cost you speed, then there's no point doing it. And then you avoid doing anything else. You just do not make a hybrid unit. You just make put guns on it, maybe put some armored plates on it, and then there's your fighter. There's no reason to, to make hybrid. There's no sacrifice. It's just, max, it's just optimizing speed and agility, and there you go. The only exception to this is if you're fighting, say, bombers, where then, of course, you need more heavier air attack and less agility. But you again, you can't just like put heavy guns on your fighter because then you lose against other fighters. And so you just end up making a separate line, which is for bomber killing, and then there you go. And there's no diversification. There's no hybridization. I mean, maybe in a meme game, maybe uh, in a non-historical game, you could, if you were a weaker nation, just hybridize. But as it stands, it just fully promotes one particular build and maximizing certain stats. Again, this is taking multiplayer into account that most of the time strats are banned or heavily reduced, meaning that often there won't be a reason to build a medium fighter or heavy fighter and this is just not good in the slightest you just max you max your air attack and preserve your agility and your agility and your speed well your agility is dependent on the air model and the air model can 
whoever can rush fight the, the next air model wins. Now you could say that in a previous iteration before Beyond um, by Blood Alone that that was the same. Whoever rush fighters two is one, and that was correct. But again, you had to balance in say Eric uh, Eric B, and it was easier to get a parity in fighter twos with uh, the current meta. Uh, whereas this, say I was trying to play Italy, the, it would take me ages to get to, to the improved variant unless I go down here and get the fighter design, which I can't do because I need to build a wall first. So immediately the best I can do is this model at the very best improved airframe. And then I can get fighter designs. And so that puts me at a step back at everyone else if they can mass if, if they can mass rush it. So that's not good at all. It's just like whoever's got the best whoever's got a fighter to well whoever's got the, the most research model wins wins the air war. And it's not about say like the tank combat where you could play around with um sacrificing your armor for entrenchment or sacrificing your speed for piercing uh to com to compensate for an enemy's tank build even though of course there was meta behind that but you know, there's ways of building the current airy work that isn't designed it so if i tag england let's see if they get bonuses to their air research so where do they start uh, research wise so they start on the same bracket now if i go to the air wing Ooh, eh, 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 eh. Show scheme, uh, air rearmament, fighter command, 200% research for fighter models and heavy fighter twos. Which means that if I, can, if I rush that, I can probably get further ahead than anyone else and just beat them full stop. And then of course if I tag Romania, And of course, if we go off the current meta of, of Romania's air research, you get a two years ahead, giving 100% research bonus value for one research of these technologies, improved small airframe. So you can immediately rush this and dominate as, as you access. It's just not, it's not optimum. And then of course, if we take a look at CAS, go back to Italy. Take a look at our cast build. So here we go. We want to create a cast uh, cast build. Du -du -du -du. Uh, again, advanced small airframe. Let's put some cast weapons on it. Let's see, so I can't hybridize. Maybe put some bomb locks at the very best in, and then get some pretty garbage cast damage for small bomb bay for eight. Six, so I'm gonna go for a small bomb bay. And the more bombs I put in, the worse agility, but the more cast damage. So, what you end up doing is just making super cast spamming bombers like this. There you go, 28 cast damage. Trying to max speed as best you can. And don't bump, don't really bother with anything else. It just not isn't isn't a good isn't a good build. Like it's just very basic. You just make instead of yeah, the hybridization isn't there. It's, it's pretty much the same as what you had last time. You re you, you know you ma you rush research for cast twos or you rush research for and uh for fighter twos, but or it's, it's called something different this time. And then uh, you max air damage, or you, or you add a bit of armor. It's, 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 it, there's no creativity there. It, it's no creativity, and the problem, and the reason why there's no creativity there, is because of this. It's just completely bare bones. What they should have added is like certain bombs you could research, certain ammunition you, you could research. So if you could, you could really specialize as a fighter nation, or you could really specialize as a bomber nation. Um, but instead, you just have this really disappointing list of garbage, which is um, you know pretty self-explanatory, pretty low down. It's just it's, there's no give or take. Like I'll give a good good example of my with tanks again. Let's take a look at tanks. So, if I want a high piercing, I'd have to pick the small cannon, and I'd have to pick the three-man turret. 
and then maybe some sloped armor. And then of course my reliability is collapsing. Uh, let's go for wet ammunition storage and let's go for uh, an additional machine gun. And so what I've made is an all-round tank when of course I could with further research and to say armor piercing or anti-tank make an anti-tank weapon or an anti-tank tank. Instead you just make a fighter. That's all you make in uh, like if I could add armor and have to s and, 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 and take into account the research cost or make I would like, um, increase my engine and then I have to compensate. Do I want to have a faster tank? Okay, so that means I have less armor. Uh, do I want a more reliable tank? Okay, that means I've got to get rid of some machine guns. Um, and so I have to make sacrifices and build a certain way to make a certain type of tank. Maybe a uh, infantry killer tank. So I'd have to sacrifice my hard attack for a uh, soft attack or an assault gun. Uh, if I wanted a... Uh, tank killer then I'd have to sacrifice my my production cost or my um, soft attack whereas with the fighter rework it is simply a case of research the latest model hope you win and get that advanced airframe first before anyone else and then just win win the game it's a, a really disappointing really disappointing air win of course, I've only had, what, how long is my recording? Let's take a look. Um, it was... 3 hours, 29 minutes. But you've seen me play, I've got 1.6k, well, I've got 1.6k hours in the game. Uh, I'm telling you now that the new air rework got a new air expansion is bare bones and doesn't add or change the, the, the dynamic in any any way just whoever researches the latest model wins um and that's it really whoever, whoever researches the latest model wins and as long as you're not on it and there's no point hybridizing so what you really have is the same system as before with the illusion of choice that's all you get but that's just me venting. Of course, other people may have different opinions, but as it stands, it's not optimum to hybridize your planes. Because if you hybridize them, you'll lose. There's no point making hybridized casts if your casts lo lose air superiority or your cast fighters lose air superiority. Then they just can't bomb anything because they've lost air superiority. And there's no point making a heavy bomber with good guns on it because again, there's no point doing it because you've lost their superiority. <laughs> so it just becomes a case of, 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 of rush. Instead of calling it Fighter 2, just call it Improved Small Airframe. Whoever rushes Improved Small Airframe first or gets a focus to get a, a special variant for this wins the game. Which is extremely, extremely disappointing and uh, sad, really. Um, sad. Anyway, that's me done. That's just me venting. Of course, I could be entirely wrong. I'll be playing more of this tomorrow as Ethiopia and Switzerland. But the air, the current air work, the air system is is garbage. It's garbage. Like this is how it should have been. Certain ammunition gives you certain like you could have gone for research armor piercing. Then you could put armor piercing rounds on your planes, which would do more damage to armored planes at the cost of being more expensive. Or you could have done incendiary planes incendiary rounds that does more damage to <coughs> normal fighters with low armor at the cost of p penalties with fighters with armor these are things they could have done but they chose not to it's a lazy rework it's a lazy rework um again they could have put uh i don't know special f special special landing flaps or special flaps that gave you a um, greater agility at the cost of lower speed or stuff like that. The stuff that creates variety, meaning that if I go up against another player's fighters, I would have to really sort of guess, or no, I'd really have to build around countering that once I came across them. But instead, all I know from every game forward, I know exactly how another player's fighters are going to be. They're going to be the latest research with as many guns on it, preserving agility and speed. It just doesn't work. It's um, it works, but it's just disappointing. It's just a disappointing uh, 
Trap down system. Like if you again we'll max research this just to show it off to you. So here is your improved airframe. So if you research the improved airframe, you've already lost um, against a fighter that is only for fighter purposes because you've got too low agility. Now, if you come across uh, an advanced airframe, there you go, you've lost. So whoever's got the latest research wins. And of course, if you've got the basic air airframe, there you go, it's over, it's over. Whereas I can, whereas with the tank system, I could have a 1936 tank built a certain way to pierce 1941 light tanks or 1943 medium tanks I, at the cost of something else, like the cost of my production or the cost of my, uh, cost of my speed. My previous research light tanks, as long as I built them a certain way, could counter tanks later on down the tree. This is not the case. Whoever's got the next one down wins, as long as they're not idiots, as long as they're not mouth breathers, it's bad. But uh, that's just my opinion, that's just me venting. Um, apart from that, I did enjoy Italy Focus Tree. Uh, I'm going to move on to the Switzerland and Ethiopia Tree next, but it's just not a... It's bad. It's just like... Could anyone explain to me how this is an improvement? It's, it's not an improvement in the slightest, because it's two burr bones and they don't add different variants. They could have done so much more. But hey-ho. Anyway, that's me done, boys. That's just as a quick one, just to give you a warning bell. So if you're trying to get... Uh, by blood alone, then uh, for the air combat, don't bother. Just don't bother because the air combat is just the same. It's just the same as the previous version. Um, that's with the illusion of choice. Well, that's me done. Have a uh, have a good night, boys, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> see you all later.